everybody. Um, please excuse the wild hair. This is um, a day off for me today. So I've just put this makeup look on and I will be honest, it's starting to melt a little bit on the outer corners because I went outside to hang the washing up and it's windy and my eyes started to water. So I truly apologize. I will insert some photographs now of what the look looked like before I went outside and before my eyes ruined it because <laughs> it looked so nice and now I'm kind of developing bald patches in the corners of my eyes and this one's kind of gone a bit slightly more smoked out I guess it gives me the kind of grungy look anyway <laughs> but um here are the photos and we will get on to talking about this collection And it is the Nightlife by Camila Cola, Colho, Camila Colho. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, um, but it is in standard Sigma packaging. I have this one, and the only difference that you will notice is is that on this one they've actually decided because it's a collaboration with somebody. They do have the Nightlife logo, which is the name of the collection, and it has this sort of really lovely skyline on it, and then it's got by Camila Colho underneath and it's really nice it's the same size same same thing same size mirror shadows all have sigma printed on them nothing else is different about it but i do quite like that it's got that slightly different cover and then it, as usual it has the names of the shades on the back what i will say is they've made an improvement right okay so when i got this palette fall softly you cannot read the name of this shade because they've printed black on a very 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 dark purple shade However, on the back of this one, on the light shades, you have got some black writing. When it's a slightly different darker colour, they've got white writing. So I feel like now you can read everything on there. And as you can see, some of them have their names on in black and some in white, which is much, much better. Now, I've seen quite a few reviews on this. Not loads, but just a few. And my one of my favourite YouTubers at the moment, Shay, that girl Shay XO, um, she did actually a try on showing all of these shades. I'm going to link her video below, actually, because it was really useful to see them on her she's not exactly the same skin color as me um but to see the actual shadows how they performed and she's not a lot darker than i am um but how they looked on her eyelids because she actually tries every single color in this palette on and that's what i loved about this video and she also tried on the new color pop ultra matte liquid lipsticks the limited edition release that have just come out there's five new shades i have ordered them i'm excited you know there's color in this palette this is not a naked palette um given it does have two rows that are fairly naked but it's not an acre palette. So if you don't like colour, you know, three of these shades in here are coloured. It doesn't mean that you can't buy the palette because obviously the other nine shades are pretty nude. Um, but be aware that there are three shades in here. And they are my favourite sort of tones, purpley blue colours. So I'm really excited about them. Which I've got on today. I did this eye look and I was really pleased with it, like I said, till I went and hang the washing out. Um, but I, actually, it's not too bad as long as I sit far away from you <laughs> but I really like this now when I got this palette this color that is all off my lids and we'll get to that in swatches this color was like wow that was the color that really stood out to me in this palette it was like such an amazingly beautiful color and I was like I'm all about these kind of plummy colors at the moment so I was really excited about that one so when I got this palette and I did the swatches then I decided from those swatches what kind of look I wanted to do and this is what I wanted to do I really see this has been a great palette to do a lovely smoky eye look and um, because I feel like that's what I've done today it's a real what I would call a complete palette because in this palette, I've not even showed it to you, <laughs> in this palette, um, these two colours are amazing crease colours. There's a lovely darker brown to kind of darken up that outer V, an amazingly intense black, which is great for doing lining, which I've, I've used it for under my eyes today. Then you've got some quite nice highlight shades, matte and shimmery. So you've got um, kind of a champagne and a gold colour here. These are quite pale, so they're really nice highlights. Then you've got this matte, super powdery, pale lilac almost pink shade and I've used that on my brow bone today and it's a really really beautiful highlight colour if you don't want to go for a stark white colour um, and I don't like to go for ivory with a yellow tone because my I don't have yellow tone skin and I just feel like it sticks out a bit too much if I do that I like that that is a pink shade because it's nice and soft and I feel like I did a really nice job of highlighting the brow bone and then the silver is really nice the thing about this silver is it is 
not super intense so it is really good and I've got that on my inner eye corners actually today it's it's not as intense so it's not this super chromatic really bright shiny silver so it actually makes a really nice highlight and I like a silver highlight I actually think it would make a really quite nice highlight on the cheeks as well as it happens but um yeah I definitely say it's a complete palette because you've got some great creases great highlights um you could even use the brown as a liner as well as the black you've got some nice liners you could do a really great um dark gray gunmetal sort of smoky eye and then we've got three colours which are just super beautiful colours. So this is the palette close up and as you can see it's absolutely stunning. I, I will insert some photographs here of the palette before I start swatching. And I will have a blog post on this palette anyway, um, but once you start swatching, you do start to lose some of the letter lettering. They do have Sigma printed into the surface, which they do on all of their palettes. Now their palettes are absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried Sigma, then please do check them out. Um, that is the Fall Softly from last year, which is stunning. I really love these kind of pastel shades. And they retail for around £30. I got this one from Beauty Chamber, one of my favourite places to shop online. And this was £30.95. I'm not saying that because they gave it to me for free to review. I purchased this palette. So um, £30.95 and they often have them on sale. At present, they have this one on their site. This is called Smoke Screen, and this one currently is £24.95 on their site. And this is a really beautiful palette. So, I now have five of them. And the thing about Sigma shadows is they are so pigmented. They're beautifully buttery and very soft and so easy to work with and blend. Um, I, I'm more into the blending things now. I don't know if you can see from the eye look. I think that... Um, my blending skills are a lot better, it looks a bit more fused and I really like how it's turned out today. But I really like that kind of warm colour in the crease. I wasn't actually going to go for that originally, um, but I will actually be putting a little video at the end here which will actually show you me putting this eye look on. Not both eyes, just one, but um, the lovely Tara Babies. If nobody watches her, if nobody watches her, if you don't watch her, um, then please do check her out. I'll link her channel below. She does the most amazing swatch videos. She buys tons of makeup. She's a crazy makeup collector and she has the most beautiful collection and is stored so uniquely so I'd recommend watching Tara but when she gets a palette she swatches all the colours and then at the end of every video is a little video of her actually putting the eye look on and that's what I'm actually going to do today so if you don't want to see that then you can simply skip out of the end of the video um, after I've shown you the swatches if you do want to see how I did this look then you can just hang around and watch it um, and let me know if you did and what you think of it I know a lot of people think my makeup skills are really rubbish and people do occasionally leave nasty comments like one I had the other day um, somebody who put on my Nillionaire Colourpop tutorial, this is awful. I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I don't think my makeup skills are awful. Do I think I'm the best makeup artist? No. Have I got the standards of Shea and Crispy and Nikki tutorials? No, I haven't. But it's not about that for me. On YouTube, this makeup community is a great place for me to get my ideas of what I'd like to buy for a start that's one thing that I do I love watching like sort of swatch videos and then I can kind of go yeah maybe I want to get that or no I don't want to I love to listen to people's reviews and get people's thoughts on things I love to watch tutorials because I love to see amazing makeup artists put makeup on it's just I find it so interesting and I've learned a lot because I didn't used to do crease work I just I used to put my eye makeup on with my finger many moons ago <laughs> Um, so I feel like you can learn a lot from YouTube um, about makeup and that's what it is. It's a constant learning sort of tool and I think it's really useful and I think it's good to see people who are complete novices put makeup on and it's good to see people who are totally amazing at it and I just do this because I love it and I enjoy wearing makeup and if I thought that I looked awful and my makeup was rubbish then I wouldn't put that video up. Are my skills fantastic? No, they're not. Have I got 20 year old skin? No, I don't. Do I have perfect porcelain smooth skin? No, I've got acne scarring, but I'm still gonna do it because I love it and that was a big long rant. <laughs> but there you go, that's how I feel. And I'm getting really annoyed by these people who sit behind their computer screens and just judge people. And it's, you know, 
they wouldn't like it if the tables were turned and we could see them and we could judge them. So it takes a lot to be on YouTube and to put yourself out there and I think a lot of people kind of don't realise that and it takes a lot of effort. I, you know, for me it does. I set up this background, I, you know, I get my lighting out, I set up my camera, I get everything ready on my desk, I get dressed, I put on makeup and then there's a whole process afterwards which is the whole editing. And I like to do I love editing, I find it very relaxing and I love being creative so I like to add music, I like to put you know visual slides in, I like to do lots of stuff with my videos and um, yes it's for people watching because I want them to be able to see you know good quality video with good quality swatches because if I'm going to talk about a palette and share it with you then I want you to be able to see what I'm doing and I didn't used to do that, I, I used to be really basic, my camera was really rubbish, I couldn't see what I was doing because I didn't have a little viewfinder um, and I, I don't know, I think you grow and it depends, you know sometimes you're quite happy to just have a natural setting and that just be you and that's, that's there's nothing wrong with that but I like to do this because I'm a creative person so I'm not putting a background up and using a softbox light to kind of be super professional and all of this kind of stuff and get in like hundreds of thousands of subscribers I'm just doing it because I enjoy it, this is something that I really enjoy doing, it's a hobby and I love talking to people. I absolutely love it when people comment on my videos because I reply to everybody. I love to get engaged in talking and chatting to people about makeup and beauty and anything really that I've done a video on. It just, it's great. I'm a people person, so yes. And I'm still waffling. <laughs> but anyway, what you've got with this palette is mostly cool shades. Um, which is really nice because I'm a real cool shadow kind of girl. I much prefer cool shades. But this one up here is quite warm. It's somewhat reminiscent of peanut butter from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette too. So the semi-sweet palette. Um, but it's not quite as orange as that. But it does have that warmth. So I really love these two crease colours because these are my warm crease and my cool crease. And I think that's amazing that, that both of those are represented in there. I like a black in a palette. I know a lot of people kind of go, oh, I don't want a black in a palette. But I like a black because I tend to use black quite a bit under the lash to smoke out the line, to do lining with. I like a black. So I'm very happy with every single colour in this palette. I'd go as far to say as this is my favourite Sigma palette so far. And that's something I thought I wouldn't say because the Fall Softly, I just fell completely in love with and I love using that. I'll use it all year round, but I must agree, the colours are quite winter reminiscent you know that kind of sort of what you imagine of like a snow scene with the soft hues of different colors just really really pretty but this is absolutely stunning and i highly recommend it i will link it below at the beauty chamber website i highly recommend beauty chamber yes i've worked with them several times before and they've sent me stuff to review I have a great relationship with curry at beauty chamber and why i'm recommending beauty chamber is not because they send me free stuff and but it's because beauty chamber have a really decent postage cost, it, I think it's around £3.95 and then it's free over £50 spend but I always find that their customer services are really fast, they really want to help you, they're really listening to what you've got to say and their postage is also very fast, things are wrapped well, they arrive perfectly, I've never received anything damaged and I really think they are very impressive. I love Beauty Chamber, I also love, for the same reasons, Love Makeup and Cocktail Cosmetics. They're three UK makeup websites that tend to get things that are not necessarily readily available in the UK so the three that I'd always recommend and would definitely I'll put the links below for you you can pick up Jeffree Star quite easily at um, Cocktail Cosmetics they always get the new shades in as soon as they come in um, so I'd recommend that um, Beauty Chamber just has a really great nice array of they've got some really great Morphe and Sigma they've got a huge collection of Sigma and I'm a huge Sigma fan um, so I'd highly recommend that and Love Makeup tend to get Sugar Pill um, you know they get the new releases from Sugar Pill because I recently got the Edward Scissorhands palette which I'm going to be doing a look from because I did a look with that the other day and I kid you not I was just I was obsessed with it <laughs> it was such a beautiful look um but yeah I tend to get all of my um Sigma stuff from Beauty Chamber just because whenever a new collection comes out you can guarantee the Beauty Chamber will have it I hadn't heard that this collection was being released and then I saw Shea feature it in a video and I thought oh well that's not going to be out over here in the UK yet because obviously it's just released in, in the US and I went on a beauty chamber and it was there and I'm really excited because um, yeah I got this and I got the lipstick that I'm wearing as well which is this so this is the palette and I'm going to do the swatches of this first before we move on to the lipstick and yes so let's get on to swatching because I'm waffling <laughs> So it came in and out of sleeve, um, which looks identical to the cover. I can't find it. I did put it somewhere so I could show it in the video. 
but it's disappeared so we'll just do it without um but i will talk to you about the actual shades that are in this palette so you've got bijou four star panache and topaz skyline vip boogie and urbanette and then along the bottom row you've got no waiting leather pants after hours and disco ball so i've used these the way of a eye primer in matte and i've actually put that on my arm these are super pigment without primer but i thought i'd swatch with primer because i would always use primer on my eyes so we'll start with the top row so bijou four star panache topaz and those are the first four swatches so as you can see it's a very champagne pale champagne and then a quite muted yellow gold not too much yellow which you know i'm not a fan of that then you've got a quite nice sort of cool soft brown and then a, a warmer more amber brown there really really gorgeous so the next one skyline vip boogie urbanette so that's what those four swatches look like as you can see skyline is a very pale soft powdery pink it's really really pretty it's nice and cool toned really love that then vip is this really nice almost sort of violet purple shade then you got boogie which is a kind of deep purple it looks almost blue in the pan but once you get it on I think it comes up really quite purple and then Urbanette is this beautiful plum shade so those are the next four shades and moving on to the last row you have got No Waiting Leather Pants After Hours and Disco Ball that's those four shades there and that's those swatched so as you can see you've got a beautiful gunmetal there with um no waiting really gorgeous can't wait to do a whole lid with that one then you've got leather pants which is that super intense black it's crazy pigmented it's gorgeous then you've got after hours which is a deep warm brown and then disco ball you can barely see disco ball but it's here at the end here and it's a very soft silver like i said not too in your face with that one which i really quite like and pulling back there those are all of the shades in this palette so 12 in total and I hope you've enjoyed how I've done the swatches today. Okay, so that was the eye palette and now we're gonna move on to the lipstick. There's also a blusher, a bronzer, a liquid highlighter, a double-ended eyeliner pencil, a lip pencil, and a brush set in this collection. I could only afford two pieces. <laughs> I really want to get the bronzer though because it's very cool toned and apparently it's also it makes quite a nice contour for us pale girls. So I've got my eye on that. The lip liner also looks pretty, the double ended eyeliner is nice, it's a black and a purple which is also nice and Sigma liners are great, I've got some from before. And then you've got the brush set, the brush set, oh, it's £70 guys, I think it's got 5 maybe 6 brushes in it but they've got like a sparkly handle, I really want them but they are just so out of my price range, there's just absolutely no way that I could get them um so I'm a bit bummed out by that because I do love my Sigma brushes and I do love makeup brushes but <sighs> we will watch on eBay at some point in the future you never know I might be able to get them but the lipstick now they've not done a lipstick before ever Sigma so it's really quite nice now they've done kind of other lip related products they do um a nice one called Halo which cancels out the colour in your lips but they've not done an actual lipstick. This one, as I said, is called Dance Till Dawn. It is the most beautiful formulation. I've got this one on now, and I'm wearing it with Contempo Liner by Colourpop, and the colour is so beautiful. It's a really nice, soft pink that I think anybody could wear. And it kind of looks different on different people. I thought that this looked quite different on that girl, she XO, but she did wear it with the liner, and I do think that that makes a difference. I couldn't afford to get both but I definitely knew I wanted to get the lipstick because I think it's really really beautiful so I'm really impressed with this and yeah I just I think it's gorgeous it's I love the formulation I love how it wears and I love this color on me so the lipstick has the nightlife logo on there as well with the skyline which is pretty 
This is called Dance Till Dawn and it's just say Sigma on the top. I've been using this all this week so I apologise if it looks a little bit murky on the top there but when you get it it looks like this soft peachy almost salmon soft peachy pink um, but as you can see when you're using it, it is a, just a true soft pink and that is the swatch on the back of my hand. I think this is a colour that would suit all skin tones. It's very soft, it doesn't have any kind of too strong undertones, just a nice true soft sort of pink. Very, very wearable. So that is the collection, the Nightlife collection. As I say, I've only got two items, it's quite a large collection really. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. Be beautiful? <laughs> but it's really beautiful. The palette is gorgeous. It's full of colours that um, I think anybody can use. Got some, like I said, it's a really nice complete palette. And those three colours are just so stunning. It's really nice that you've got this really great flash flashes of colour in there. And those colours I find always work really nicely with my eye colour because it's green. And I like purples and plums because I just think that it kind of brings out their intensity. Um, yeah. And of course, it does have a mirror in the light. So don't forget, please do stick around if you want to see how I did this lovely, very dark, smoky, vampy eye look with this palette. Definitely a look I'll be recreating because I absolutely love how it turned out and I can't wait to use the purple in this palette all over the lid as well and also the sort of lilac-y, violet-y, lavender shade. I never quite know how to describe some of those sort of bright, I think it's like a bright lavender to me, but I never know how to describe them. But I will be using it in the future and I might do some get ready with me's for this, this with, with, I can't talk, and I might do some get ready with me's with this palette in the future as well if anybody's interested in seeing that. But do hang around please and check out this look. So yeah, and let me know what you think of the this slightly different format of video. Do you prefer to have the both together or do you prefer that I did the get ready with me separately? Just let me know in the comments below. But that's it for today. That's it for the Sigma Nightlife collection. I really hope you've enjoyed the video as always. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you did. I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye guys. So first I'm taking the colour Panache and I'm putting that into the crease with a fluffy brush, blended it backwards and forwards and down to the outer eye corner. Next I'm taking Urbanette and I'm placing that all over the lid with a flat shader brush. I packed a couple of layers of this on just to get a nice intensity of colour and just to make sure that there were no little patches where I hadn't filled it in properly. So it was nice and even. Next I took Disco Ball and I placed that on the inner eye corner just to brighten it up. And then I took Leather Pants on a pointed sort of crease brush and ran that into the outer V and then across the actual eye crease just keeping it just underneath the brown colour just to add a little bit of intensity on the edge of the plum. Just blending it backwards and forwards to get it nice and fused out across the rest of the crease. Then again I went in with Urbanette and just kind of topped up that colour and blended that into the crease colours. Following that I took Skyline and I put that all along the brow bone. It's lovely pale pink so it looked really nice on highlighting that brow and then I added a little bit of Disco Ball over the top of it just into the arch there for a little bit of highlighting. Next I took Topaz to warm up the edge of the crease. Really nice warm colour this and I thought it looked really nice with the, the plum colours and the um, black that I already had on. And then I used Skyline at the edge of that just to kind of fuse out the edges and just give it a really nice soft finish. Then I took leather pants on this flat liner brush and I just placed that under the lash line. This is a really intense black and I just kind of faded that into the silver at the inner eye corner. 
and then brought it out at the outer eye corner and blended it into the outer V. Next I'm taking Urban Decay's Perversion Eyeliner and I'm lining the waterline and then the upper lash line. I went back into the inner eye corner with Disco Ball just to brighten it up where it lost some of its intensity. And I accidentally put some on my nose. <laughs> so I've got a silver nose, but that's okay. Next, just adding a little bit of concealer under the eyes. There was a tiny little bit of fallout and I did brush it off, but I liked a bit of concealer just to kind of tidy up the edges of that and just give everything nice smooth lines. This concealer is amazing for doing this job and I will be featuring it in an upcoming favourites video. <laughs> now I'm going to take the Essence Mascara. This was from a Glossy Box. It's a really, really nice mascara actually. I really like it and um, I think it just makes my lashes look nice and long. Again, I just went in with a little bit of Topaz just to kind of make sure that everything was nice and colourful on the crease there and then I decided to use leather pants on that flat liner brush again just to kind of create a little bit of a wing. That's what the finished eye look looks like. I really like how it turned out. And I love this kind of colour with my coloured eyes. I think the plum looks really nice with the green eyes. Oops, bra strap on show, didn't know that. <laughs> Next, taking Colourpop's Contempo Lip Liner from the Fall Collection. Just lining my lips. I filled in the corners but not the centre. And then taking Sigma's Dance Till Dawn lipstick, I just filled in over the top of that. And that was basically it. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for sticking around and watching. Bye!